Hello and Twitter friend and welcome whether you are an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. These messages are for you and today I have a special pick a card reading focusing on what opportunities is the Lionsgate portal potentially offering you during this Lionsgate portal uh type of opening or that window which is open now all the way through august 12th now the peak of this uh window is of course on august 8th but however you can work with the lionsgate portal energy all the way from the beginning of the uh, lionsgate portal all the way through the ending which would be august 12th now what is the lionsgate portal i want to give you a quick rundown of some facts here so that you know how to work best with that lionsgate energy is the cosmic alignment okay it's the one time of the year where there is this extra cosmic energy between the physical and the spiritual realms okay it's really rooted back to the ancient egyptian times okay where they honored that activation of energy and vibes okay now it's called the lion's gate portal because of course it's opening right that alignment or that portal um happens during the lion uh, i'm sorry happens during that leo season which of course is symbolized by the lion okay and that is that window where the rising star of cyrus okay that kind of like that jupiter expansion horizon type of energy um gives that window for that co-creation between us and that type of energy okay so hopefully that has given you a little bit of a, uh, a a window or a peek here of that of course you can very well uh take a look at more articles to fill you in on that but let's start here with uh some messages that you yourself your higher self is going to pick here for you so that you are aware of what potential opportunities you have how you can uh, grow here and manifest during this lionsgate portal so group number one is represented by the emerald crystal group number one group number two is represented by the shiva lingam crystal and group number three is represented by the Shuglite crystal. Okay, now there are some cards underneath these piles. However, I will still do uh, my live shuffling. So look down below in the description box, click on that timestamp, and I'll see you in your designated pile. Take care. Hello, group number one. Group number one, you selected emerald the emerald crystal now before i begin just letting you know i do have some uh, preliminary uh cards here however i will do live shuffling and with emerald it says here point your heart toward grace okay so that's one of the blessings or opportunities here uh, for you to be able to grab and manage here through the uh, Lionsgate portal. It says here, boundaries. That's the second card here for you. And last but not least, you have two cards here. You have the cheetah and you also have the beaver. All right, I'll talk about how all of this kind of in a way brings itself together. But here with the emerald, it says, use it when you've temporarily lost the courage to love and be loved. When you're in need of a total refresh Open your heart to limitless possibility with Emerald. Point your heart toward grace, okay? So what I'm getting here for you is this message that some of you may have been putting up boundaries, okay, uh, around your heart chakra, okay, or boundaries uh, in, in a way kind of like being afraid to get hurt because either A, you've been jaded by prior situation, circumstance, or events having to do with love. Now, whether that love is romantic love, family love, friendship, love, okay, in whatever way, shape, or form. But what I'm getting here for you uh, during this Alliance Gate portal is your opportunity here to, if you do feel that you do need to maintain certain boundaries here with others, you know, I get it, okay, I, I, I understand that, 
uh, wholeheartedly here, but there's this sense of like, as you place this sense of boundary um, or firm parameters, let's say, okay, safe parameters around yourself, that you are also taking care of your heart chakra, that you're not allowing a boundary or a wall to be this energy of this jaded energy around your heart chakra, okay, not to come with a sense of I'm not going to attempt to love anymore, or I'm not um, open to love anymore, or, you know, I, I, I just want to keep to myself, um, because that energy seems a little bit more restrictive. It seems more of a closing of the heart chakra rather than opening up the heart chakra. And so the Lionsgate portal is giving you the opportunity, number one, to clear that heart chakra energy, to open yourself up, to be more conscious here on how you can uh, not only self-love, so, you know, self-care here, self-care and time for self-care for your heart, but also be able to give and receive love in return by, again, not only putting firm boundaries, but also uh, acknowledging that there is this um, kind of like, it's, it's a two-way street, right? Um, to be open to receiving love. You also have here Cheetah. Um, and Cheetah here represents the Yang energy, okay? The masculine energy has nothing to do with gender. It's all about the energy, the energy of action. So for some of you I'm getting here, there's an opportunity for you to jump out of this energy of protecting and feeling jaded and creating somewhat of a barrier or in a way, uh, kind of continuing to block your heart chakra to this opening expansion of your heart chakra. Okay. And that being this, and it's interesting because it's coming across like energy here. It, it's that opening of that energy through that power, that speed of wanting to not only heal the heart chakra, but also allow yourself to start making steps in the direction of adding more love to your life through self-love and self-care, but also be open to the opportunities that, uh, you know, that you may be granted to you during this Lionsgate portal uh, opening. You also have here Beaver, and some of you have been coping by working a lot, by focusing a lot on work or focusing a lot on doing things, right, in order to keep busy. And this is in a way telling me here, that some of you also, because beavers are very in tune with their family, okay, with their, with their kind of, with their pods or with their circle. And what I'm getting here, it, there is this sense of selflessness about you, okay, Leo? And there is this sense of generosity of giving forward, whether that is in whatever, uh, you know, love language or whatever way, shape, or form uh, that you normally give that type of love to others. But there's also this opportunity for you during the Lionsgate portal to heal yourself from family wounds, from childhood trauma, from situation, circumstances, or event that may have um, in a way created some type of heart blockage. And it's an opportunity for you to open that during this Lionsgate portal. All right, let's take a look here at more information for you. What else is coming in? What other opportunities is the Lionsgate portal uh, providing you here um, during this time frame, during this season? All right, you have here blossoming. Yes, the expansion, as I said before, and it's coming right underneath this card here talking about the heart chakra, validation, confirmation, opening your heart chakra, allowing yourself to love yourself, self-care, but also be able to give and receive love in return. So that mutual energy, it says you are getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and don't give up. All right, beautiful energy here, of course, with this cheetah showing that momentum that this portal or that activation, that channeling, that downloading of, of um, you know, of good vibration, of that powerful time during this Lionsgate portal, that uh, the blossoming and the growth process here may be for some of you here um, during this Lionsgate portal. So beautiful energy here. Let's take a look here 
at more information here. What else is coming through for you, pile number one, in regards to the opportunities that are that may be presented to you during this Lionsgate portal and how you can work with that energy as well, of course. Let's take a look here. All right, you have here talent. Some of you are going to talent and clarity. Some of you here during this Lionsgate portal is coming across as there are talents that you have, that you possess, whether that's intuitive talents, whether those are um, artistic talents, mathematical talents, science, whatever this is for you, but there's this talent that you were born with, okay? And I'm saying born with because this person is looking towards my left-hand sign. So it's something that you may have always had, this knack or this natural potential, you know, for something. And of course, that may be different here for uh, for each and every one of you. But there is going to be a sense of clarity. You knowing about it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you know exactly what this message is, is talking about in regards to you. So there's a sense of clarity and there's this sense of you activating or feeling more drawn to increasing, expanding, nurturing, learning more about this special talent or this skill set uh, that you naturally possess or something that has been on your mind for quite some time but you haven't uh, really given it either the work the effort of trying to find out more about it it's just kind of like that intuitive nudge for some of you for others of you you know exactly what this may mean and this is a great opportunity for you to jump start on whatever this expansion, okay, downloading of information, um, getting clear on how you want to work, develop, uh, or even share this beautiful talent or skill set that comes to you so freely here, okay? So there's a sense of nurturing and caring for that, and expansion is going to come from that when you are giving it that uh, that hard work. And the reason why I'm showing you, you here the beaver is because the beaver is that energy of working uh, or putting effort into something. You have here the Hario font. You have here, I mean, this is Taurus energy, okay? Seven of Cups, a lot of options here for you during the uh, Lion's Gate portal in regards to you moving forward and working uh, very closely here. Now, for some of you here, I'm getting a galactic or starseed family, like really working either with people who are... Um, uh, you know, other star seeds, okay? And, the, and this is very specific. So this message, this part of the message may not be for everyone, but for some of you here, it's like working uh, very closely or looking for communities where you can um, expand, where you can blossom and feel more of that galactic type of home star seed energy, okay, is what I'm getting here. With the Hario font, again, like I said, this is Taurus energy, so there's this sense of... Um, really kind of hard working whatever it is is not going to happen overnight okay uh taurus energy has that pentacles uh energy as well such as virgo and capricorn that's earth energy and that's represented in tarot through the pentacles right so i'm feeling here that this is a process that you may be um starting or continuing here during the lion's gate portal with this herial font there's a sense of elevation there's a sense of you connecting with with that portal or using that portal for your window to co-create to manifest and to be able to um, kind of like propel to push forward those dreams desires and hopes in different areas or facets of your life this blossoming is beautiful here don't forget to continue to work with your heart chakra book group number one i hope these messages have been insightful don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye bye hello group number two number group number two is represented by the shiva lingam and this is and this says here go all in on your essence go all in on your essence so there's this sense of 
really pushing yourself forward here and taking advantage of this lion's gate portal this is a powerful time again the window for you to co-create um during this time now there are uh, two other preliminary cards but i do want to say here when to use the shiva lingam here and it says when your ego has you feeling too small or totally supersized when it seems like you're you're sucking life force through a swizzle stick instead of a boba straw when you've got baby making mind uh baby making on your mind okay so for some of you this is a great time to expand your family that is uh one of your goals here okay for others of you what i'm getting here with go all in uh, with your essence is really allowing yourself to expand and to really take uh, this energy really what I'm getting here is like un unification you and aligning yourself with this lion's gate portal in order for you to continue to manifest okay um here you also have discernment all right so you see the person's head here is a little bit in the clouds um i'll talk about that in a minute and you also have here sea serpent okay for some of you here i'm getting the message of you or uh, either third eye chakra, there could be here third eye chakra blockages or crown chakra chakra blockages, okay? The top of your head or um, the area between your two uh, eyebrows here, which is the, the your forehead, right? That space between that. Um, and what I'm getting here is that there may be a blockage here. And during this uh, Lion's Gate portal to really work with those two energy uh, centers of your body, okay, in order for you to unblock and clear whatever may be uh, causing some sense of stagnation in regards to listening or feeling more comfortable to listening and trusting your intuition. And for you to be easier, it'll be as an easier access for you to be able to download messages or to channel messages or to listen to that intuitive nudge here, okay? Now, discernment here is all about choosing wisely, okay? Judging wisely, looking at something with a clear head, but not so much in the thinking portion, okay? What I'm getting here is more intuitive. What uh, you know, how can you work with your intuition more? How can you trust? Because this uh, energy center is towards the um, solar plex chakra, okay? So how can you do, or what can you do to trust more the, uh, you know, the nudges, the intuitive nudges, okay? The, uh, the things that may pop in your head here, just an inner knowing that comes through your mind, okay? How, do you, how are you going to be able to trust that more? Okay, here during the Lionsgate portal. And of course here, this is saying with the go all in is that some of you may be, may be holding your potential in some way, shape or form. There's a sense that there's so much more for you to either give or for, or for you to gain here that you may be shortchanging yourself in some way, shape or form. For some of you, it's because that, as I said before, what's coming through is this crown chakra that's a, a little bit on the block side okay or for others of you is your third eye chakra if it's not blocked this is saying for some of you here continue to expand and really focus on those two areas here of your uh, of your uh, body centers okay your energy centers of your body here in order for you to be able to either a continue to heal or for others of you to be able to really connect with that creative source, that creative um, kind of a, what I'm getting here is kind of like that wands energy, that motivation, that inspiration, that creativity that lays within you that you have so much potential for. But there may be here uh, this kind of like not as aligned or something blocked here. But this is a great opportunity here during the Lionsgate portal for you to open that up and really work with those two uh, energy centers. For some of you, you may feel that it's one energy center over the other, and that's fine, oh, okay? So um, that is just how it's coming out for, for some of you here, that it is two or either one, all right? 
Here with the sea serpent, I'm getting that there is this great opportunity for you to use the lion's portal here as healing your emotional wounds here in some way, shape, or form, okay? And that, in a way, will help you grow because there is a sense here of a snake, okay? If you look at here as a snake, and I also see an eye here, so that's that dual uh, type of message that I'm getting here. But as far as looking at the snake is concerned, snake focuses on growth it, it focuses on molting uh, or shedding what no longer serves and be able to uh, be in this state of new a new start a new beginning for new growth for the new challenge for the new journey here okay and that's why i feel here for some of you that is very important for you to work with the lion's gate portal and allowing yourself to clear your uh your Kind of what I'm getting is like the top layer of your uh, energy centers, crown chakra, third eye chakra. For some of you, even uh, your solar plex as well, because it has a lot to do with your power. You believing and you feeling very confident that you are able to uh, really go all in as the the card here, the Shiva Lingam crystal uh, showed here earlier. Let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you. Opportunities here for you. I mean, beautiful Aphrodite. It says here, inner goddess or inner god, okay? Awaken the goddess or god within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Like I said before, I feel that there's so much potential potential for you to grab for you to expand for you to explore here uh with yourself starting with you working on your inner self okay again uh healing emotional wounds um clearing up that crown chakra clearing up the third eye chakra allowing yourself to judge things to see things for what they are but not with your physical eyes with your spiritual eyes with your uh in your third eye chakra okay so the third eye as you see here this looks like an eye here so that is that message that's coming in for you this is a great opportunity for you to use the lion's gate portal and use it and co-create with it right this is your window for co-creation a very powerful time here to make this happen happen again as i said at the top of the introduction here the lion's gate portal is open now all the way through august 12th the peak of this um you know this energy or this powerful time here is on august 8th but again you can use that energy and work with that energy all the way through august 12th what was i saying earlier this is validation confirmation about this healing of the wounds that i was talking about here for some of you here this is a great opportunity for you to again outgrow certain situations circumstances or events certain healing of emotional wounds you know maybe even the memories so mental the mind okay healing that as well because whatever may have happened in the past or recent past has in a way for some of you taken out that spark or that thunder in you or that confidence that you may have had so a lot more before and lately it's been a little bit lackluster so this is a great opportunity to also work with your sacral chakra for you to also work with closing things that no longer serve you whether these are memories these are emotions with the whether for some of you this are energetic links uh because you've been you know in a way thinking about the past or uh, talking about the past and it's very interesting because i believe for leo your august um your august reading i just did it yesterday i just posted it up uh earlier today it talks about this energy of looking so much to the past and really getting yourself a brand new start for the future okay so really really beautiful energy here of closing doors that no longer serve and allowing you to uh really open doors that are for your highest good all right so this uh lion's gate portal again great opportunity for you to use all these energies and opportunities that are coming your way for some of you here i'm seeing the number 10 
that's the only number that's here right now. So for you, the number 10 may be um, meaningful here. There may be a significance here for some of you with this uh, pile. So I wanted to mention that. Of course, uh, you divide 10 uh, into 2 and you get 5. 5 and 5 is equal to 10. So I'm getting here for uh, others of you, the number 5 here is uh, important as well, okay? Now, what's interesting is that the number 10 is all about that culmination, that bringing something into a full circle, okay? So I feel here that uh, others of you have been in this kind of working towards clearing your third eye chakra, clearing your crown chakra, or fortifying it, strengthening it, and really using those nudges here. Um, so there's the sense here of either that starting for some of you or others of you continuing in that practice. Last but not least, let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you. The devil energy. Okay, now this here is, um, it's, I know it looks a little extra, <laughs> but this is talking about old patterns of behavior. Remember that I was talking about earlier. Uh, okay, it's temptation. It's old patterns of behavior. It's certain mindsets, self-sabotaging thoughts, limited beliefs. These could be the things, the strings that are energetically attached to you that I was talking about earlier here for you to release during this Lion's Gate portal with the sea serpent. Remember that I was talking about this um, energy that was coming through of emotional healing, healing emotional wounds, whether that be uh, stemming from family, whether that be stemming from friends, from partnerships, from you know, exes from wherever this may be. There may be here something that during this Lionsgate portal is a great opportunity for you to cut those energetic strings or cords so that you are able to get to the next step, like the sea serpent, right? Be able to release those. And remember, sea serpent, water. Sea has a lot to do with water, right? Um, it's, it's that purification. It's that emotive energy. Okay. It's the washing away here of this devil energy, this energy of self-sabotaging thoughts or fears, limited beliefs, feeling as if you are energetically strong or, uh, or held onto or binded in some way, shape or form here to something. There could be here temptations, um, a lack of moderation about something or, or of something or of a substance. Okay. Maybe it's work for others of you. It may be, may, it may be food for others of you. It may be alcohol for others of you. It may be something here that you are not, you know, able to moderate, right. To do in moderation. And here, this is talking about that. That could be your coping mechanism mechanism here. That could be something that you were using for that. And right now during this Lionsgate portal, this is a great opportunity to clear and to close those chapters so that you can really step in to your God or goddess energy through self care and through that um, motivation through that believing in your confidence and in your leadership and really going, um, all in, in your essence, really tapping your potential here to, you know, to, to, to what, what the, you know, what the universe, you know, it's like, I'm getting here. Like there's no limit here for you. Okay. Uh, but what could be limiting are these energies here that I was talking about. And this is a great time and opportunity for you to clear and do and, and really press on that reset button. Group number two, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hello, group number three. Group number three, you your group is represented by Sugar Light. S-U-G-I-L-I-T-E, sugar light, okay? And this says, stretch the, lim the limits of your imagination, really working yourself or allowing yourself to download uh, codes, to, to download this energy and to work with that window for that co-creation here during the Lionsgate portal. This is a very powerful time for you for if you choose to work with that energy to really be able to move forward through leaps and bounds. There is something here having to do with there may be in your human mind, right? In all of us, we have a kind of like a set limit. 
in a, subconsciously or consciously where some of us feel like okay i could only get but this far this is talking about that you need to stretch the limits of your own self limits here okay because you have unlimited potential and unlimited power to be able to expand to grow creatively um passionately motivation inspiration to be able to tap in to that fire within you so that you can grow right and you could potentially grow even more all right so some of you here there's this like kind of like okay like what i'm getting here is like like seeing like at the top of the staircase right and saying okay i'm going to reach that top but not seeing that there are more stairs on top of that top staircase and that's how i'm seeing it clairvoyantly it's like there's this unlimited potential or unlimited um you know storage of creativity when it comes to your potential here and should uh, sugilite i should say it says when to use it when you're called to take a your spiritual practice to another level okay it's easy to stay stuck in something that isn't working so there's a comfort to safe and status quo okay so getting out of your comfort zone here is a, a great opportunity for you to work with this license gate portal this is the opportunity that is um uh, being given to you or kind of sh being shared with you at this time it says but there's an unknown out there with unlimited bliss and possibilities ask sugar light to light the way there like I said, there's this sense of there's more out there for you. There's more to accomplish. There's more to do. For some of you, it may be within your spiritual practice, okay? So there's this sense of you either creating or focusing on the limits, right? Like allowing um, uh, challenges, obstacles, or uh, challenges, obstacles, or blockages here to, in a way, get in the middle of the strategy and techniques and the routine that you have been trying to do or trying to be uh, consistent in when it comes to your spiritual practice. So this is saying here for you that there is more out there. There is so much more for you to continue to expand and to grow, and it all has to do with you getting out of what you know the comfort zone feeling safe and being able to take that leap into the unknown into that next step into that next milestone here whether that be spiritually in love or in career all focusing here during this uh lion's gate portal you also have wow i mean Talk about signs, symbols, synchronicities, and validation confirmation. You hold the power here to be able to grow in those leaps and bounds, okay? There's this sense of um, this Lionsgate portal allowing you or giving you access if you so choose to work with this portal and this energy to attract the next step, the next phase, to go to the next level. There's a sense of doing more, getting more, but it has a lot to do with you uh, kind of getting out of your comfort zone, leaping out of there, kind of like that fool's card in, fool's, uh, card in tarot, where there's a sense of, you know, breaking down of the old, like that Uranus energy that rules the fool card, you know, breaking down the old in order for you to jump into something new, in order for you to have that leap of faith, to take that leap of faith, and to know that you're going to be um, in a way, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing cradled because some of you, um, I'm getting the sense of like the jumping isn't the issue. It's like, am I going to be taken care of? Should I jump? Am I going to make that right next step? Or, you know, am I going, am I going to go down, uh, you know, into something that is not going to be beneficial for me. Right. But this is the, this is what I'm getting here for you. There is a need for you to let go that mindset if that mindset sounds familiar to you, okay? If that mindset sounds familiar to you, this is saying that is the reason why this is coming out for you because we need to get out of that, I'm only going to do what I know because it, it is comfortable, it is what I've always been doing and this is how I'm going to do it because I don't know what could be out there if I go and step out of the box. And this is saying no believe that the universe is here uh with you co-creating with you okay that the universe supports you that it co-creates with you 
that you have tremendous about amount of blessing, that you are in your reality of your highest good and deepest desires. And as long as you are focusing with that energy and really putting effort and believing and truly believing that that is true, then there is no need to be afraid of the unknown because you know that when you make that step and when you make that leap forward and you work with that Lionsgate portal during this time, it's going to be like this, like you're jumping, but you're jumping into a hammock. You're jumping into this place where you are being supported because you are making those moves in order to grow. All right. Next, you have here the golden egg. And this is all about the heart chakra. OK, this is all about your vulnerability. And again, it's tying very, very uh, deeply here with what I was channeling here a little while ago. It's that I want to stay in this box or in the circle or I've been doing what I've been doing and it's been working. So why should I try something else or why should I go down a new avenue? Why? Well, because we're talking about growth, because we're talking about that taking that leap forward or taking that leap of faith is going to allow you here to uh, embrace your soul self, okay, and expand in ways and grow in ways and blossom in ways that you didn't even see possible. So for some of you, again, this is spiritually, but for others of you, it may be in love, it may be in career, and it be, may, may be here in other sectors. But remember that I was talking about that cradling. That's exactly the picture that you have here. This golden egg, like this amazing opportunity is in this hammock or is in this space where you need to make the effort of uh, being consistent or taking that leap of faith. I mean, beautiful uh, energy here and opportunities that the Lionsgate portal is providing you here, group number three, uh, during this time. And that, of course, is starting now. The Lionsgate portal is uh, open now, and it's going to be open all the way through August 12th. However, the highest peak of the Lionsgate portal is August 8th. So for some of you, um, you know, of course, you can be working with this energy all the way through uh, August 12th, but make sure that you make it a point to work with it even more during uh, August 8th or 8 8, okay? Because that's where the peak is at, peak of energy. You have here true love. Now, interesting because vulnerability here has a lot to do with love here as well. So for some of you, this may be the heart chakra, really believing true heartedly that you are embraced by uni the universe, that you are uh, increasing your own self-love and that those around you are uh, in your best interest, you know, have your best interest as, at heart. It says here, the romantic steerings of your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. This is beautiful. This is like the universe, especially here during this Lionsgate portal um, opening. It's like there's this massive amount of love for you that is coming through. There's this massive kind of like welcome back, welcome home type of energy. For those of you who have been working with the Lionsgate portal, you know, for a very long time, if this is an annual thing that you make the time to do, this is kind of like a welcome back. Thank you for tuning in type of energy. Okay. For others of you who are, uh, this may be the first time here that you are hearing about the Lionsgate portal, that you're thinking about working with the Lionsgate portal energy. This is saying this is a great new beginning for you to start um, opening yourself up to that energy and, you know, opening your heart to the possibilities uh, that you weren't even aware of. Okay. So beautiful uh, energy there with that great love to you yeah it's like the outpouring the outpouring of support from you know from the Lionsgate portal from the galactic from the star seed okay for, for the others of you this is, is coming a very powerful message that you will be downloading or channeling here uh, by uh, you know through through you by the your star seed or your galactic family here okay so there's this sense of uh, this loving uh, not only energy but messages that you may be able to um, 
to channel. I'm getting here that some of you, um, when you really, you know, work that meditation, when you work into that meditative state during uh, this, you know, like you're intentionally sitting down and saying, I'm going to work with the energy of the lion's uh, gate portal, that you may feel it in your heart chakra, okay? You may feel a little bit of either pressure, tingling, um, in your chest area here. Um, and that is exactly what I'm feeling, which is the reason why I'm, um, I'm saying that to you, because that's the sensation, um, that I'm getting here. So for some of you, it may be kind of like whatever this is or whatever energy that you're going to align yourself with during this Lionsgate portal is going to either activate or create a sensation, uh, around your your chest here having to do with your heart so some of you may well up or may feel as you are in meditation and working with the lion's gate portal the sense of just um emotive energy of just wanting to cry and you're not understanding why or feeling some sense of welcome home or feeling the sense of remembrance right but i'm getting deep uh you know, deep feelings here in the heart chakra, which is the reason why I'm a little bit kind of like stuttering here. <laughs> Cause I do feel that kind of like that, you know, that, that pressure, it's not like bad. It's just like, like I feel an activation that may happen here for some of you. Um, you know, and, and, and you know, that's the reason why I want to share that with you, because if you do, it is part of that downloading or that activation or that channeling or that kind of like welcome home type of energy you do have here well-being which again i'm not surprised is here for you because as i said i'm getting and look at this wasn't i talking about the heart chakra if you look at this very carefully there's super energy here on this person's chest so again i'm getting this like right here i don't know if you could see it but right there you see that illuminating even further here um for some of you again you may do this type of channeling laying down um and that's what i'm getting here for some of you for others of you you may be sitting up but i'm getting this kind of like laying down and really uh doing that i'm also seeing some of you working with crystals here putting like a crystal on your heart chakra to help activate or to help clear or to help purify here or wash away or expand and grow and connect here uh, with your heart chakra but look at this person's aura it is brightly shining here with this kind of like connection with the lion's gate portal so beautiful message there for you last but not least let's take a look here and for you i mean look at this it's power and you have well-being here it's going to be very a powerful change or a powerful kind of being encased with this galactic energy, with this spiritual realm energy during this Lion's Gate portal. And it's going to help you and help your well being, your overall well being, your aura, your mental, your spiritual, your emotional health, okay, your physical health. There is going to be this sense of kind of like a restoration here or, um, Kind of like repairing is what I'm getting here also. Last but not least, let's take a look here at the golden egg. And right underneath, I mean, take a look here. The ace of pentacles, beautiful, beautiful energy because ace of pentacles, this is a great opportunity for you. I'm telling you, group three, you do this. You're getting gold, get it, gold, gold. And you're also getting a pentacle here. So this is a fantastic new start for you. The Ace of Pentacles comes in with either financial gain. It comes in with either opportunities to make more money, to be more successful, whatever successful may mean for you. For others of you, it's intangible wealth. What do I mean about intangible wealth? Well, I'm talking about love. Love is valuable, but you can't buy love, right? So you can't you can't buy time either. So for some of you is time to love or the gift of time or the gift of love here there's this sense here for you group number three that the ace of pentacles is this time this kind of like stability here for you there's there's going to be a sense of you feeling 
not only a sense of well-being, not only feeling love or increasing your own un uh, unconditional love for yourself or for others, but also here an opportunity to feel more stable in other aspects of your life. It could be love. It could be career. It could be your finances, okay? But whatever it is here for you, group number three, there is this sense of through patience, determination, and hard work, you're going to be able to, you know, either get that opportunity, that opportunity is going to come your way, or there is this sense of you tapping into your power and that power generating this not only new start, but a new way for you to gain uh, either tangible success and wealth or intangible success and wealth. Group number three, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.